When Janelle gets angry, her fuse is lit. It's just an instant explosion. I everybody! It's like Janelle leaves and a stranger comes in. I can't fight her. Shut up! I'm tired of you! 13-year-old Janelle has been verbally and physically attacking them ever since their father died suddenly of a heart attack last year. Now, we've heard stories about Jonelle. We've even heard taped recordings filled with screaming and cursing. But it's now time to meet her in person. I'm here on Dr. Phil because I have anger issues. I hate you! I cuss at my family. I'm mentally abusive. What are you gonna do about it? If you set me on fire, there's no way I'm going to stop. I don't When I get into my zone, it feels like there's another clone of me that is just punching me so hard, telling me to say this or punch a wall. Trust me, it is a nightmare. There's one part of me that's like a perfect angel, but then there's like another side of me that's like, I hate everyone. I hate everyone! I hate everyone! I will start to shake, I'll hyperventilate. There's no way I can calm myself down. My raging will last up to about maybe eight hours. When I rage, it will be over the dumbest things. One time I was at my grandma's and I got so mad that I smashed my phone. This is the phone that I shattered. I just like slammed it on the ground. My sisters are definitely a target of mine. You're worthless, jump off the bridge. I'll say, go kill yourself, jump off the bridge. I got mad at my mom one time because she was forcing me to do this program. I got so mad at her that I kicked a hole in my mom's wall. Last spring, I got so upset because I didn't want to go to school. The police came. I did flip off one of the officers, and I told her to go kill herself. I think my anger has gotten way worse since my dad passed away. I think my rage escalated because I lost my best friend. I never got to say goodbye to my dad, actually. I had this necklace um, with a little heart, and it has his ashes in it. My dad was a very good guy, and hopefully Dr. Phil can help me and my family. No, I'm, I'm glad you're, I'm really glad you're here. Thank you. Um, tell me what about that makes you emotional? I don't want to live like this anymore. I'm sorry? I don't want to live like this anymore. I want to be happy. I don't want to feel this way. I just want to be able to be around my family without having to be so psycho. Mm -hmm. And nothing is helping. Do you wish your mother would die? No, I don't. You've said that to her. I don't mean it. I can't control it. It's like I black out and then there's someone telling me to, tell, to say that. And I don't know what to do. You have cystic fibrosis, correct? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about that disease in terms of your life and how it's likely to impact you? It puts a lot of pressure and stress on me because I have to deal with taking meds every day and always like doing these like breathing treatments. And the fact that like there's a lot of things that like, like I mean, I'm like, a, I'm a normal kid obviously, but it's like there are boundaries. And like if I'm in a hospital, like getting needles all over my body, like I've had them in my head, my arm, my chest, and it's just, it's overwhelming and I'm, and I'm tired of it. Like I wish I wasn't born with it and that's why I, I have told myself like I wish I wasn't born. I wish I was born in another world because that way I wasn't born with all this because it puts a lot of stress on me and, and that's another reason why and I, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot. Well, hey, it's me, and thank you so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, trust me, I want to hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on. You just might end up right here on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!